Hi, I'm Katie Beautifish. And I'm Caitlin Marshall. And, and you're watching RJTV. Today, we're introducing a new segment called Vine of the Week. Hi, I'm Maggie Rasher, and I like to make vines. Hi, can you please recreate your favorite vine? Sure. It's an avocado. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, please recreate your favorite vine. Country boy, I love you. Hi, my name is Trey, and I got a basketball game tomorrow. I'm point guard. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Gordy, can you please recreate a vine for us? Yes. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Oh! <laughs> You're a dose of glycus. <laughs> do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Valentine's Day was this week, and our question of the week crew had the perfect question. Question of the week! What is your best pickup line? Whoa! I just fell for you. Are you a Clementine? Because you're the only cutie I see. <laughs> you a soccer player? Because you're a real keeper. If you were a pirate, would you have your parrot on this arm or this arm? <laughs> Do you work at Starbucks because I like you a latte? Uh, my doctor says I'm lacking vitamin U. <laughs> Red, violets or blue, you know it would work me and you. I'm the... I need to go get my library card because I'm checking you out. <laughs> are you McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. <laughs> Hi, how are you? All right. What do you think, Caitlin? What's your best pickup line? Are you Wi-Fi? Because I'm feeling a connection. Each week here on RJTV, we will bring you The Five, where we start in space and end at Regis Jesuit. In space news this week, NASA announced that the next Falcon Heavy will carry the most powerful atomic clock ever launched into space. In international news this week, the Russian Olympians are competing under the name OAR, which stands for Olympic Athletes from Russia. There are 169 Russian athletes competing in the 2018 Winter Olympics under this title as punishment for massive state-sponsored doping activities that allowed them to cheat in the past two Olympic Games. In national news this week, the San Antonio Spurs Coach Greg Popkovich explained why it is important for the National Basketball Association to celebrate Black History Month. His videos have gone viral for their clarity and frankness when it comes to discussing racism. This past Sunday, Silverthorne resident Red Girard made his Olympic debut at 17 years old in slope style, winning the USA's first gold medal of the Olympic Games. You are invited to the Royal Ball, so grab your tickets for the father-daughter dance on Sunday, March 11th at the Sports Authority Field. Check your weekly Raider review for details on how to buy your tickets. The spring play tickets are now on sale, so don't forget to purchase them. Girls Swim and Dive got third at state this pack week, past weekend with 235 points. Some highlights include Jada Sorrell Norwood's third place 50 free and second place 100 free, Parker Biley getting the sixth in her 200 IM, Maria Lupton getting fifth in 100 free, Claire Brennan getting fourth in 200 free, Anne Marie Ketting getting eight in diving finals, and get it, us getting third in 200 yard medley relay and second in the four by 100 relay. Girls varsity basketball team scored 100 points last Friday in their victory over Ponderosa. Their next game is today against Heritage at home at 7 p.m. It's senior night. Come support your basketball team. Last Friday, the undefeated varsity hockey team beat Monarch 5-2 for the second time this season. Their next game is tomorrow, Saturday, February 17th, against Lewis Palmer at Lewis Palmer at 8.30 p.m. All spring sports athletes, make sure you are cleared for tryouts by Friday, February 23rd. Thanks for watching. See, See you next week on RJTV. RJ